I predicted it's going to be up to up to 50 knots and yeah the gusts is coming we are two crazies from South Africa that is Frick and Pietru we decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full-time on our new home Sisu I can't wear a Sisu now Die is the Castile Fun Monaco. Okay, let's see how we live on the other side of the world. The entrance to Monaco's harbor slash marina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just discovered it's Channel 14. So I'd rather just ask them quickly first before we just go in. This is probably going to look like a little tender once we go in here. Okay, we've got permission, we've got the go ahead, we must just watch out for traffic. This is a monster. Yeah. I wonder if he also has a sailing yacht on the back and a... <clears throat> yo, yo, yo. This is just way too big for two people. So I'm afraid we're not going to go for this one. <laughs> too much stuff to clean. been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around want to see it now pack our bags and get in that car real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life away It's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. So, we are going for second best in Monaco. They graciously let us do a tour of the harbour come marina with Sisu but we weren't allowed to go in and dock with Tipex because we needed a medical clearance, clearance at least two days old so we're going to come to Port uh, say that word again Port uh, Cup Dale Cup Cup Dale and I said no problem we can anchor out and we can come in and we can come in with the pigs. Yep. Big ships, not boats. They are big enough to call a ship, I'm sure of it. White rose of Birachs. 
That sounds like Vikings, drugs. The French are just so super friendly and accommodating that we've had absolute just friendliness so far. No assholes. What's up? Oh, who watched the boat? We, we trust you. <laughs> we trust you. I think they that red, the last red line. Yeah. So then we're completely out everybody's way. This big guy will just ride over us when he leaves. <laughs> Check these balloons. They're not fenders, they're like balloons. Yeah. And hopefully not also becoming a fender. <laughs> <laughs> Tipix is almost as big as one of their fenders. <laughs> yeah, I think their fender is maybe bigger than Tipix. Shish, big fenders. This is big. You call that a fender? This is a fender. And if you take it out the water, it might just be your height, eh? <laughs> yes, it's going to be big. <laughs> I don't want to take it out. <laughs> that is just monstrously scary. This guy has balls. <laughs> Big fenders for big spenders. So this is the thing. You, if you come in by a boat, you need to have the medical clearance. If you clear in at the port, so that's only if you clear in at the port before you can before you can enter a port at this moment in Europe and in almost all the places I've been to, right? Yeah. You need to have a medical declaration um, 24, 24 hours before the time. Monaco asked for 48 hours. So the other places we could do, we just sent a form before, and that's when we know we're going to clear in, clear out, and stuff like that. Now, yeah, this is now where things just doesn't make so much sense. Because we know in France, oh, we were in France when we went through that gate, we actually know in Monaco. And we walked through without anyone asking us passports, stamps, medical stuff, nothing. So, here we are. We were walking, you can't sail in. You can, you, yeah, you cannot come in by boat, but you can walk in. You can drive with a car. We've been here in France and uh, technically already a couple of weeks. We've been in Europe more than a month, two yeah. month and a half already. So, it's not that we do something wrong. It's just like... I'm just questioning the procedures. So you can be dropped off at your boat. <laughs> but look, a helicopter Seven minutes is only. only here, I yeah, so if, if they want to drop you off at your boat, only pay 140 euro, and that's for seven minutes only. <laughs> Pack our bags and get in that car. Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand yeah we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around wanna see it now pack our bags 
That's it. That's an already small car. And over there is the, the Casino Monte Carlo. Look at this mirror. A couple of speed boats. And then the ugliest boat I've ever seen. It just looks ugly. So we are walking here in Monaco in Carrefour and we're looking for beer. And it just looks like a little bit impossible. I even lost Pietro. I don't know where Pietro is. Ah, oh, I see her. And she's at the forbidden section. Fruit and veg, can you believe it? Look at this, so much. It's such a big shop. We've not been here for a long, 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 or in such a big shop for such a long time. I'm sure we can even get Boltung here. Found you. You are at the forbidden section, fruit and veg. We've got five days of not being able to get off the boat. So. Oh, there's a blow coming. And Pietro doesn't know, but she's bringing me again into a big shop while I'm hungry. Pietro, I lost her again. So, where do I find Pietro now? Can any one of you see her, please? I have no idea. Okay, so we see a lot of clouds coming. So I'm not sure we, we wanted to have something to eat as well, but there's clouds. I'm not sure we, we should afford that. around 20 knots uh, when that dark side is getting now <coughs> 35 knots 37 knots and that's not gusting that's just the wind so that is on Saturday we might get protection from the from the shore um, it's getting hotter and hotter So the blow hasn't even started yet. It's only coming tomorrow afternoon and look at the sea state already. It's going to be fun and games. That blow is on its way. It's going to blow a bit today. Calm down a little bit during the night. Calm tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be in full swing. And we are anchored in a grass field at Budapia. We reset, I think, about six or seven times now. So, Frick is just going to check and make 100% sure that we are actually all right because they're expecting 40, 50, 60 knots of wind so yep it's going to be quite a ride so 
There's a lot of grass, like, oh man, like a forest. Yeah, it looks like it from up here. But did you see the anchor? Huh? Did you see the anchor? No, it's too deep. It went down, 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 down. So, either we lost the anchor <laughs> or it is like somewhere in China. It's damn deep. I followed the chain, everything. It's deep, 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 deep. And I had to dive twice because I just couldn't see it. I can mm. see the chain and I think, okay, it must be here. So I go down and it's, oh, the chain still goes on. So I go up, go down again. Ugh. No, it's deep. It's dug in. Okay. That's all we, we need to know. Yeah, no, that thing is not coming out. Not tonight. So we busy putting our winter shades on. Enclosures. Enclosures. Not shades anymore. Because I think, not what I think, we all know there's a big glow coming. And we're also getting ready for anyway when we do the passage so that this place don't get so much salty. We just drop it and the salt stays outside. So, but the couple of nights that we've done now on the long passages, <laughs> well, that's one thing. And then the other one is that it was getting very dirty, very salty, very fast. Oh, the big, big blow. And Pietro looked at this the morning, it's up to 15 knots. So look at that. Wait, wait. Okay, look at Pietro. <laughs> but look, this is a winter thing is on, full enclosures. And now we're here at Port de Jean, Jean Cap Ferrat. Opera. Yeah, so where's the dinghy dock here? Yeah, over there. Looks like we can buy beer as well. So we tie it up, yeah? And this is a nice marina. And just look at all these tons and tons of restaurants. Just like carry on and on. And we need to look for a supermarket. Ja, dat is toen nog niet gewerkt. Ik ga niet weten of ik er kan droog voor het weer. Oké. We fell a few, felt a few drops, and we decided to come back. Just rushed to buy a couple of beers, and you cannot even see the marina from here. Look at that. It is raining a lot. Yeah. So we are sitting here nicely. The our enclosures are on, and it is pretty quiet. But look, look, look outside. It is the wind is gusting quite heavily. And we've got a very big <laughs> monole there, small little monole, and you can see the guys are looking around. And this is where we are. Here comes another gust. We've recorded so far, we've recorded um, not more than. 25 knots so we're actually quite okay um, so it's not yet what I predicted it's going to be I predicted it's going to be up to up to 50 knots just over on that side over there so over here we're going to have maybe 34 knots and yeah the gusts is coming so we have we have our instruments here and at this moment we've got the 80 meter anchor chain out so and we add the edge so on the grass the garment grass we can see that the maximum that we eat in the last hour was 25 knots 
the wind is getting crazy so we recorded already a maximum of 36 but now it's almost sustaining at 25 I think look at this So if you look over there, our maximum last hour was 30, oh, 36 knots, look at that. Those big ones, they must take quite a lot of punch. That blue boat, the big black one, I think from your perspective, it has a sailboat, a power boat and a dinghy on it. So if, you, if you're indecisive of what to do whether you want to go mega super yard or you want to go sail or you want to go power boat why not just take all three of them Remember uh, that blue boat? It was behind that one. Now it is over there. So, <laughs> while I was out there, this was what was recorded 41 knots. That's a maximum. So, it's those little spikies going up there. Guts, guts, they go up from nothing to about 36. Check how it did that little boat now. Yo. Here it comes. <laughs> yes, it moves fast. Yo. This is high speed gusts. Very high speed. Looks now they're moving backwards because they're now in a gust and we're not. So, and then we will start moving backwards and they will start moving forwards. Look, as the chain is taking up the snack, you will see they're going forward again. Okay, here comes another one. That's why you need a bridle. Yeah. Going quite way out. It is around it is around um, four o'clock. Yeah, just past four o'clock in the morning and the wind is still going at it. Just just check this out. Uh, let me get so check this so we swing all the way from there to there if you look at the graph now you will see the wind is just gusting 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 and it was stretching quite closer to north more and more to north and according to this one we had already 34 knots in the last hour, the maximum. So the sun is coming up, or oh, the sun is already up. Um, and the wind is still at it. This is the situation now. We've been doing that circle the whole night. But now lately I think we more here. Yesterday it was more on that side. So now we're working this smiley here. Still 
34. The maximum over there is 34. But you can see the speed is up and down, up and down, gusting, gusting. So for once, I'm pretty happy about the, the mantis. <laughs> Uh, not for once, it's like every single time when we drop that anchor, it stays, you know, it just stays. It's it's amazing. So that's one thing that I think was money well spent. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the country sounded so pretty. I secure Tipex. Tipex is over there. And I even got a, a little trolley for in case Peter wants to do some last shopping. And then we will go. We will push off. Okay, so Peter found me. I did not find her. So she's waiting for me here. Tipex.